Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a complete teardown or disassemble on a Lenovo Legion gaming laptop. Here, you get to see on how to replace the RAM, upgrade your hard drive, replace the battery, replace the screen, or maybe the keyboard, and even remove the motherboard. So I'll be doing from start to finish, and each step of the process, I'll explain to you what are the things that you can upgrade and what are the things that you can replace with. Okay, the first thing I like to do is to identify the model number, making sure you have the same laptop as this here on the video. So this one is Legion 5 Pro. Hopefully you can focus here. This is Lenovo Legion 5 Pro 16 TH 6H. 16i TH 6H. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to have is a Phillips screwdriver. And this Phillips here is a lot smaller, so I'll be using the 1.5 mm. Go ahead and remove the screws. Starting from the top left corner, the screw is a lot longer, as you can see. What I recommend you to do is to take a picture of your laptop print out the piece of a paper. As you remove the screw, you want to place that screw on top of that paper that you just print out. So you can make a reference to yourself, knowing which screw that goes where, so that you can put them back together uh, later on. Okay, and then the screws here at the bottom. So it looks like the screws at the bottom is a lot shorter compared to the rest of the screws here on the top. There are four shorter screws. Alright, once you have done with that process, let's go ahead and open up the back cover. I wonder if you need to use a metal prying tool. Stick it in between. and then the entire bottom part will just come right off, okay? Once you have removed the bottom part, you want to pay attention to the battery. Here comes the battery, that is the connector. What you can do is to slide the connector down towards the body, so slide it down. And using the screw, you'll be using a Phillips screw and this is the PH1, that is the screwdriver, uh, screwdriver, the size of the, the Philip. Even the Philip one is too big, I apologize. Wow, it looks like they use all the small screws here. So I'll be using the 1.5 mm Philip. Once you disconnect the battery, you then you can now remove all the screws. That way, you can remove the battery. It looks like the battery is still attached to the heat sink. And before we can do that, go ahead and remove that heat sink which is holding down the M.2 drive. So your M.2 SSD drive should be in that heat sink underneath. Okay, once you have removed the heat sink, there are three screws, one, two, and three. The heat sink will just come right off. And that is your M.2 SSD drive. Go ahead and remove the screw and slide the hard drive to your right. And that is the one terabyte M.2 SSD. Okay, so one terabyte M.2 SSD. And that is the hidden screw for the battery. Remove it, and the entire battery should just come right off. 
of course with the two screws that is still attached to it so go ahead and remove that as well that is the entire battery now if you're not sure where to find the battery go ahead and check the model here L20D 4PC1 that is the model for this battery and I'll link it down in the description below go check in the description where I direct you to either Amazon or eBay uh, to find a replacement battery let's focus on the RAM this is the RAM cover to remove it all you have to do is just simply slide it straight up and the connector here is the one that is holding down the RAM cover so you see the little metal bracket okay that is the one that is holding down the bracket uh, once you remove the bracket you can now see the ram to remove the ram all you have to do is to push both sides here and that would pop the ram up slide it out at 45 degree angle do the same slide it out at 45 degree angle ram we are running on a pc4 this is a 16 gigabytes PC4. That means this is a DDR4 RAM for laptop, 16 and 16, running at 32 gigs. You probably can upgrade to 64 by using 32 and 32. Once you have done with that process, let's go ahead and remove the Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and remove the screw. Making sure you want to label your Wi-Fi cable. The black goes to the one on the top, the gray stays at the bottom. Once you have removed the Wi-Fi cable, slide to your right to remove the Wi-Fi card. And that is your CPU fan connector. So slide the connector away from your body. Push it and slide it. If you have hard time, you can use a plastic prying tool to help you push and pull at the same time. Let's go ahead and disconnect the heatsink and the CPU fan. Let's start with the right here. One and two screws that is holding down the fan. Okay, one here, one here. Let's work on the heatsink. So if your computer is overheating, um, right then more likely you might want to apply a new thermal paste on the computer uh, because over time when the computer dried out the thermal paste dried out then the heatsink does not conduct enough of the heat there is the fan is having a hard time to disperse the heat then the cpu temperature goes up so it is good to come and check the heatsink making sure that the thermal paste is still um, moist it's not all dried up and crumpy so go ahead and check with that okay on this left side of the cpu fan you're going to have three screws on it one two and three and then the heat sink screws that do not come off when you unscrew you hear the screw kind of uh, stop at a certain point and doesn't keep coming up uh, that is normal because the screws are not meant to come out it gets stuck just like that and then you, all you have to do is to make sure you disconnect this cable as well I apologize forgot to disconnect this CPU fan cable so to do that you have to remove the heatsink first this is the secondary hard drive the heatsink can have two M.2 drive on it apologize for that M.2 SSD drive, this is one terabyte. Altogether, you can have two terabytes. Well, actually, you can have two M.2 drive. How big the drive you can be is up to you. It can be two terabyte or four terabyte on each side of the computer. And this is a little um, what we call the uh, CMOS battery. So, CMOS battery is here. That is for the laptop. Okay, once you have Remove that, go ahead and disconnect the cable, slide it to your left. Okay, once you have disconnected the cable, now the entire heatsink will just come right off. 
as you can see that the heat sink uh, have thermal pads these are what we call the thermal pads thermal pads are connected to all your chipset the black little square those are the chipset and conduct the heat and here comes the thermal paste as you can see that the paste are still moist it's not dry and crumpy so you can see it is still shiny and moist so that thermal paste is still good and we'll be reusing the same thermal paste okay and the CPU fan seems to be fine there's not enough heavy dust but you can see the corrosion starting to build uh, because this computer here has a water damage and I'm just taking it apart to show it to you on how to remove or disassemble the laptop all right once you've done with that process uh, let's go ahead and disconnect some of the cables so we're going to disconnect this cable here flip open the little clipper slide the cable to your right okay to disconnect from the IO board and this IO board is just strictly for the USB on the side and it looks like there's a water damage and corrosion starting to build so this USB is not usable all right, here comes the touchpad. So your touchpad has a clipper here. Flip the clipper open, slide the cable down. And then this is your keyboard. Flip open the clipper, slide the cable down. And that's pretty much it, I think, for now. And let's go ahead and find some of the screws so we're going to remove this middle screw here okay and then we're going to come to the top it looks like the top have multiple screws so go ahead and remove this this is the USB screw which is holding down to the USB uh, port okay there's USB C port another screw here in the middle uh, there are two screws here so one and the second one is held down by Lenovo so you need to remove that that is for the warranty void sticker prevention and remove the bracket for the HDMI and then disconnect your LCD screen cable open up the clipper and slide that LCD cable to your right it looks like it's very tight I'm just going to slide it this way Okay. and the entire motherboard should just come right off what is holding it down all right so what is there something holding down the motherboard um, I'm just flipping it down towards me as you can see the flex cable here on the other side is to attach to it you can disconnect them so you're going to flip it down towards yourself and then there's going to be this clipper you need to open it up and slide the cable away it looks like they tip it down too so slide it away and this is your speaker connector push it away slide it away from your body and the entire motherboard will just come right off okay and that is the motherboard replacement part if you're interested to find a replacement go ahead and check the replacement part right there okay and this is a water damage as you can see some of the corrosion starting to build on the USB port and much more oh it looks like the uh, some of the capacitor needs to be changed okay that is that and now here comes the keyboard and the LCD screen so you can see that the keyboard is built in all together in one piece meaning that it is hard for you to just uh, exchange it okay so only way to do is to replace the whole keyboard all right so let's check all the cable make sure they're okay speakers are good I am going to remove this okay remove this and remove this screw this one side of it here comes the left 
just want to make sure that you know when you remove the screws you know where to put them back together okay so best is to take a picture of it as you remove the screws you know that you where you can put them back together after uh, let's see if this is actually attached together or is it separate Oh no, they make it to be together. Wow. Wow, I'm speechless. Okay, here comes the another fail part of Lenovo. And this is really annoying. More and more companies are making things like this, which prevents people from repairing it and um, I got a set news for you so Lenovo I guess for this version Legion 5 the proprietary their product they do not allow you to remove the keyboard as well um, it's all attached with the screen so remember the screws that I remove here right so this LCD cable get a slide into here so this LCD cable, the keyboard is all one piece together. There's no way you can remove the hinge and there's no way to um, just change out the keyboard. If you spill something on the keyboard, you are done. Okay, you are done. There's no, um, there's no repair. You would have to change the whole keyboard with the LCD screen, both together in one piece how ungrateful they are oh well um, anyway besides all that uh, you get to watch on how to add more RAM on your Lenovo computer you get to know how to um, add more hard drive storage space on the M.2 SSD you get to see on how to replace the battery and you get to see on how to replace the CPU fan or the heatsink and also last but not least to replace the entire motherboard so technically only few things that allow you to remove the rest of other stuff here is all built in one piece together uh, which is very unfortunate if you want to upgrade or repair it's not available all right thanks for watching until next time uh, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button uh, until next time, bye now.